All right, now I'm going to apologize because this is going to be fast and furious. So you might want to watch this video a couple times to get it all because I only have five minutes. Okay, first off, I know this is a hyperbola because 9x squared minus 4y squared, the negative right here keys us the negative with the y squared or the negative with the x squared, either one. That tells us it's a hyperbola. So by grouping the terms, just like we did with ellipse, 9x squared minus 54x minus 4y squared minus 40y equals 55. Okay, so I'm going to factor out a 9 on the front part. So 9, and we'd have x squared minus 6x plus something. Okay, the difference between this and ellipse is now I have to take out a negative 4. And so we'd have y squared, not minus 4y, or 10y, we'd have it plus 10y, plus some box, something going in here. Equals, and again, I'm out of room, so, so we'll just plug in the 55, and then we're going to add something here and something here. Okay, so you go ahead and complete the square by dividing the middle term by 2. So negative 6 divided by 2 squared and squaring it, which would be 9. So I'd add a 9 here. But that means I have to add an 81 over here. Because, again, the distributive property requires us to do that. On the right side, you take 10, divide it by 2 and square it, which is 5 squared, which is 25. But we've got a negative 4. Again, we'll put a 25 here, but the negative 4 means we got a negative 100 here. Okay? So we can bring everything down and uh, go ahead and f uh, factor. So we've got 9, and then in parentheses, x minus 3 squared minus 4, and then in parentheses, y plus 5 squared equals, and then you have 55 plus 81 minus 100 is 36. And uh, it's kind of the same as the ellipse now. Very similar, except for, again, this negative. So we're going to divide by 36 all the way across. And so x minus 3 squared over 4 minus y plus 5 squared over 9 equals 1. And so, again, my center is 3, negative 5. So if we graph that, there's 3, 2, 4, negative 5. You're going to go right and left 2 up and down 3, and draw this time a box instead of an ellipse so that we can find our asymptotes. So one asymptote is here, the other asymptote is here, and, and we also noticed at the beginning that uh, um, x Uh, you would notice x is positive, so or the yeah x is positive, so we know it opens right and left. So we know our actual hyperbola is going to look something like this. I mean, I'm not going to make you go in and find points. We just know approximately what it looks like. So here's our hyperbola. If you wanted the foci, you take the square root of four plus nine, or the square root of thirteen, and so. Again, square root of 13, you can get your calculator out, but I know the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 16 is 4. So about 3 and a half is where the foci is. So you go 3 and a half would be, there's, let's see, there's 2, so there's 1, 2, 3 and a half would be about here. 1, 2, 3 and a half would be about here for your foci. And so there it is. That is your hyperbola.